what is azure databricks if you have to somebody say what is azure databricks what would you say okay so for uh, defining what is databricks so I, I would i like to take you to the you know uh, the time machine uh, back to 2003 Okay, so uh, that comes when Google came out with a specific file system called Google File System. It's all called as GFS. Okay, uh, which later it uh, you know uh, renamed it as a Hadoop Distributed File System (HDFS). Uh, and then uh, later on, they came out with the concept of MapReduce. So MapReduce was a revolution at, at that point of time. Uh, you know, like you know, uh, able to uh, store huge amount of data and also compute the you know huge amount of data and uh, store it accordingly. So it was a definitely a revolution at that point of time because there's none, no, none other technology available at that point of time. Okay, and the primary language was uh, Java. So uh, you know it required like a, a long. Uh, it was I had a learning curve, a strong, a sharp learning learning curve, to understand the concepts and know and uh, uh, improve the system as and when. But it was actually in 2009 um, that you know in the University of Berkeley, uh, some you know some people working on a project called Spark. So that is that is the one that revolutionized a different kind of technologies based on uh, HDFS. Okay, they came out with the pro the, uh, the ability to uh, basically process the store, process the data and store the data. Uh, so it was called as uh, Operation Spark, so that, which was later you know uh, by patronized by Apache, uh, which was called as Apache Spark. So now Apache Spark itself is uh, like a, a, a like a Command command line system, you know, and then one has to be uh, look focusing on like you know how to get about the uh, various resources to uh, execute that. So it was a little difficult for any user user perspective. It was a little difficult for them to do. So that is when Databricks came into picture. So the same founders of Spark, they came out with a company called Databricks, which provided a user interface to work on uh, the Spark's ecosystem. Uh, so basically, you will have multiple clusters. You have multiple resources, uh, you know, and to execute all this uh, uh, and process data, and then uh, transform it, and then basically, uh, you know, provide it to the uh, end users or uh, uh, consumers, basically. So database, basically, I would say, it was founded sometime in 2013, and then later on, there are multiple versions on top of it, which made it, it made it uh, more and more viable uh, to the current environment and uh, ensure that you know like the, there are like as you say the ecosystem we have like three v's right volume velocity and veracity a variety so variety so basically to, uh, uh, to take care of all these features with the help of a good ui uh, so that the user doesn't have to worry about it or and 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 the security aspect so and that is when they uh, had a you know the microsoft had a like you know small investment in uh, databricks as well so uh, they embraced uh, uh, Azure platform.